Hello, I'm Richard McKinley, president of IAPS, the International Association of Pastel Society. And so I want to welcome you to our online library. And in this feature, we're going to be talking about considerations in photographing your artwork, especially photographing it for entry into an exhibition and what's required. So there are certain points that will be covered in this presentation. Uh, we're going to be talking about how to get a good image, an image that would meet those requirements, the terminology that you will run into when reading the prospectus and what they're requiring that image to meet, and then how to prepare that image to, again, be able to enter it successfully into the show. Now, there are resources that are available on our website, so I encourage you to also seek those out because they will be very helpful for you in doing this. So I'm going to turn this over now to, again, our great master pastelist and presenter, Bethany Fields, who will share these considerations and these things that we hope will be very helpful for you when entering your work into an online exhibition. So Bethany, take it away. The topics of photographing your artwork and preparing the file for online entry create a lot of questions for artists, especially if you haven't done it before. Online entry has become the primary tool for entering shows. It's important to learn how to prepare, shoot, and upload the best possible image you can. Here are a few tips. A good photograph of your painting is the most important thing you need to have before entering a show. Let me go over some suggestions to help you get the best possible photograph to submit. Be sure you photograph your painting before framing so you don't have to deal with the concerns of glass reflections, which can alter the appearance of your painting. No frames, mats, or borders should be showing around your artwork. There should be nothing in the photograph but your painting. Be sure your painting is cropped so just the finished image shows. Make sure that you are standing centered to your painting and lining up the outside edges of your painting to the format of your viewfinder. This will resolve the issue of parallax, where the dimensions of the painting will appear distorted and crooked. Make sure your photo is in focus. Remember that these photographs will be used for catalogs and online viewing. It's important that you create the most accurate color representation of your painting when photographing it. Take care that the color is accurate and the photo accurately represents the painting. Be very cautious about over editing and color correcting or editing contrast because the final results may not represent your painting. The lighting situation where you're photographing your painting may affect its appearance. You may wish to photograph your painting under several varied lighting situations to find which gives the most accurate representation. One consideration is to photograph it on the easel where you painted it. This may be your best lighting. You may wish to do further research on white balance for your camera and image. Once you have your photograph, you'll go online to enter it into the show. You'll encounter some technical terms within the instructions. A JPEG or PNG file is the file type in which most photos are requested to be sent. This is a standard compressed image suitable for the internet and it makes images smaller and easier to upload. Depending upon your camera settings or your cell phone settings, the image may be set to capture the photograph at 72 dpi. This means it has 72 dots per inch. You will need to learn to alter the photographic capture to meet the prospectus dpi requirement. It's important that you learn as much as possible about these settings, how to alter or convert to the correct DPI for exhibition. A 300 DPI image has 300 dots per inch. Therefore, it has a higher resolution. Before you submit your artwork, go back and read over the call for entries. Familiarize yourself with the labeling and size requirements for your entry. Each show will tell you exactly how they want the image file to be prepared. The call for entries will give you the size requirements as well as how to name your image file. 
It's highly recommended that you work with a duplicate copy of the original photograph for the purpose of resizing and naming. Follow the directions exactly and prepare your image before logging on to enter the show. Our shows generally require the file to be sized at 1200 pixels on the longest side at 300 dpi. You need to know how to find this information and may need to resize your photo appropriately. On the IAPS website, we have an informative PDF showing the step-by-step -step process of how to size your image properly. You can find it under the Education tab under Resources. Another source of good information is to do an online search. For example, on Google, use the name of your photo program and the keywords Resize Image to find links to that information. After resizing your image to the prospectus requirements, be sure to save that image as requested. For instance, I'm naming this file fields underscore Bethany underscore almost spring dot JPEG. Here is a helpful hint. Create a digital folder for the artwork and entry documents you wish to enter. That way it's quick and easy to locate the correct file during the application process.